Hi, uh, welcome back. Uh, just here with the AR, getting it ready for the dyno. Just doing a leak down test, 6 psi, that's good. It's not moved for about 20 minutes now. Happy with that. So if, I want to test the pipe that I designed in uh, EngineMod 2T. With my go-to sim for designing pipes, I've had really good success with it. And it involves going through lots of different little steps to try lots of different combinations of pipe dimensions, which takes a long time, hundreds of hours. So when I saw Motor 8, because I wanted the software to do my cone layout, but also had an optimization, you could call it AI I suppose, feature, I thought I'll give that a go. So today I'm going to give it a go, start with a known pipe, let it optimise it, and then I'm going to run it again in EngMod because I'm confident in EngMod and the output it gives, and see if it gives more power. So can Motor optimise using a bit of AI or an algorithm, I guess we'll call it. So yeah, that's it. Okay, this is Motor 8, and as you say, it's got an engine and expansion chamber optimal design modules. So, we're going to optimal design the BDK pipe. So, I want to do it for power. I'm going to do it over six speeds. And I know roughly where I want it to go. 8,000. And then you can give like a weight so one would be, I'm not that interested in this RPM, to nine is I'm really interested in this RPM. So I'm going to... Right, so I've told it I want the power, I want max power. I want it really around the peak RPM. So that's where it's going to weight it. And that's it, so go to the next screen. Then you can select. So what do I want to do? Expansion chamber length, continue. And I'm going to let it do all sections but not the tail, tail pipe. So it's going to vary all lengths. And then the diameters, again, I've got all outflow diameters and I am going to allow it to vary the diameter of the inlet to the header, but not the actual outlet of the uh, exhaust duct. I'm going to go commence optimization. So here, that's the initial pipe that started with and already it's on its second pipe. And as you can see, power gain it's making a power loss but it has made a gain there and number four it's made again again so it's just searching for where it can get the highest gains at each rpm range i'm going to stop waffling now and uh, let it do its do its thing <laughs> Okay, so that's the end of the sim. It's given me the dimensions there, and also the end, the optimal. So, right, I've put in the optimized pipes dimensions into EngMod. Quickly display it. Now we can run it. So, yep, give it a run, and off we go. Post 2T. So let's have a look. That is the original BDK pipe in black. Motor had a look at it, ran some uh, calculations, and it's improved it just over a horsepower. So add a bit more over rev. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. If you can do that with my other pipe, that would be good. So if we have a look at the T40, so this is the pipe I've just built, which hopefully should perform a bit better, but it's higher up the RPM range. So I can maybe get motor to have a look at that. So that's it. As you can see, the motor optimization has optimized the pipe and it's made it better. Things to note, there's also a uh, optimization of port timing feature in there as well. So yeah. So what else to play with? Anyway, I'll better get packed up for the dyno.